Hi guys, it's Ray. Tonight I am going to do real quick a 9x14 tray mold. This is a commercially made mold. It is much more shallow than my custom made mold, but it will require no cleanup at the end. So we're going to see what I prefer when I'm done. I think this is going to hold about 600 mLs. So I mixed up too much epoxy as always. So I'm going to try and get through this quick. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use some silver flakes, but since I just got some in this cup, I'm going to switch cups. So these ones I got on Amazon. They will break up some in there, but when you mix it, make sure you break them up enough that it's not huge clumps. Like, I wouldn't put that giant piece in there. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a tiny bit of the Silver Surfer glitter. This is from Glitter Craze. It's a chunky mix. A lot of sparkle. As always, I kind of go into these things without a real plan. Um, I have a cup that I don't know what I plan to put in it. I'm going to use a little bit of purple. I think it's going to be the only color other than a black or a white. Just for an accent color. I'm going to use some super fine silver glitter. Like, wasn't going to do this one super sparkly because I feel like I do them all super sparkly, but then I pulled everything super sparkly. I'm going to use a white iridescent glitter. I didn't pull any micas or, um, inks for this one. I may grab a purple ink. This is a black iridescent. And I'm going to do quite a bit of the white opaque dye from Illumilite. I'm not going to mix any ink or anything with that. That's just going to be straight dye. <clears throat> and I'm going to use some of the black dye if I can get some out of this container. This container went missing for a brief time, and I think it had a rough time of it while it was MIA. Okay. I'm just going to grab a baby wipe real quick. just have handy I have this mat next to me to work on but I spilled on it and I want to wipe some of it off just so I can use that to put my cups on as I mix okay so I'm going to mix this glitter up first and I'm going to try and move quite quickly so I'm going to try and chunk up that silver foil. I need to move quick so I don't waste the rest of this resin. It's not quite enough to do the small tray I have, but it's too much to let go. This is that fine purple. You have to move kind of quick with the trays anyways when you're actually pouring them because you don't have a lot of time to keep stuff from spreading further than you want it to. And that black dye. I'm 
This is the way it died. And that black glitter. Again, these two are iridescents, so is that silver surfer. So they're gonna throw off some other colors other than just the color of the glitter. And I don't think I have quite enough just in the cups to fill the entire mold, so I do have extra on reserve next to me. Just gonna wipe out the bottom of the mold quick. I know there's nothing in there that's not going back in there, but so I'm gonna start with the white dye. And I'm just going to do some stripes with it. So that will kind of set the tone for the pattern. Not the pattern, but the appearance. And I'm going to just pour some of the black directly into it into the white. Okay. <clears throat> and I think the bulk of the um silver flake I'm going to keep together. I'm just going to put a tiny bit towards each corner. But I think for the most part I want to keep it towards the center. So now this silver because it's so fine this is going to be where the bulk of my bubbles end up. The silver doesn't even truly look silver anymore once it's in the resin. I'm just going to start with thin stripes of that just splashed over the edge. Again, I do have this sitting on a cutting mat to try and contain some of the mess. But my table is also covered with um, contact paper. So I can chip off the resin when it dries or easily replace it as needed. Okay. I think I'm going to go in with some of the silver net, or purple, clearly. And I mixed up quite a bit of purple, but I think most of this might go over into a mold because I don't really want a ton. Want it for a little pop of color. And this is that chunky glitter. Now this type of silicone mold you don't want to put a lot of heat to. You don't want to risk burning the edges to your epoxy. So do be aware you need to be careful of that. This is that black glitter. I'm gonna run about not there. I'm just gonna put a couple of thicker bands of that, I think. Yeah. 
And this is the white glitter. Dump that right down the center of this band of black, I think, to disperse it some. And I'll do the same here. And in here. I think I'm going to go straight for the corners with this too. I did check this for level earlier, so it should fill fairly evenly. I'm going to run some of the white light dye. And some of the black dye. Try and get some black down that silver leaf. And some more of that silver glitter. I'm going to run right over that line of black. And I think right down this band of iridescent in the middle. Now, unfortunately, with this kind of mold, unlike some molds, your top is your top. So some of your glitters might sink and disappear, but you're going to have absolutely no control over that. I'm bringing in some more of that purple because I feel like most of the purple disappeared. And I'm going to wipe off that edge when I'm done. So, I'm going to move on. I'm trying to decide what, what else I want or if I want to just fill with clear at this point. I do think I want a tiny bit of the black through the corners. A tiny bit of the black glitter in the middle of that black dye line. I'm intentionally running off the edge in some spots just to not um, drip too much. I'm trying to add some of the purple from this direction just because I do tend to get a little heavy handed on my leading edge. So I'm going to bring some more of the white dye through a couple spots. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay. I think I'm just going to um, drizzle some clear into the center. Where that sober leaf was. And I'm going to let that push some and open that back up. And then I'm going to pick just a couple spots to push like that with the clear. So let's see where we're at height wise. We have a ways to go. I'm trying to push these corners out a little bit too. Just getting down to eye level with the mold so I can kind of see where I'm at. I'm getting close. I don't want to overflow and I still have to put the handles in so that's going to take a little bit of room but not too much room. When you pour the clear over it kind of pushes everything. And I'm sorry if you hear the news in the background. Somebody just pushed my door open. So there's that. <laughs> okay. So I'm pretty close to fall now. I have the slightest little lip. So tiny bit more through here. And that's going to be it call that good and I don't want to mess this up too much or at all but I do kind of want to drag out some um, spots that I don't really like the way they look so I'm just going to kind of feather a stick through there I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to wipe it off every time I do that. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off my hands a little bit, and I'm just going to take this wipe and gently try and get, not inside the resin, but get any big drips off the edge, because I am hoping this comes out nice and clean. And some of this may change and shift as it dries, and that's fine. I'm going to take these gloves off, because they are very sticky now. I'm going to grab another set of gloves. I'm switching gloves because I'm going to touch the handles, and I don't want the handles to get icky before they're set. 
So this set of molds came with two pairs of handles, one silver, one gold. These are very light. They have a much smaller base than the ones I've been using. So I'm going to put them in and hope they'll stand. We'll find out. I don't like that this little piece of gold leaf just wandered into here. It's like a chunky piece. So I'm going to fish that out. And I'm just going to move that piece over into here. So I'm going to see if I can get these positioned and hope they'll stand fine. I'm not going to try and measure for them or anything. You could try to measure, you could wait, let it set up a little bit before you install them. I'm just going to eyeball it. And I did dip my glove in there, so I'm going to grab my trusty baby wipe again and try and wipe it off without moving it and mixing too much. So, I have this a little crooked, so well, that is how that's going to look. It'll have some totally translucent spots, some opaque spots, some solids. I think it'll look pretty cool. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, the next try I'm going to do is just going to be, I think, gold and copper leaf mixed together, a variety. So, and that tray will be a little bit smaller. So keep your eyes peeled for that one as well. I will put this tomorrow when I unmold it. I will take a picture and put it as the cover photo for the video thumbnail. Thank you. Bye.